Hey guys, it's Mark from Modern Tech and today we're going to talk about the Steam Deck again but we're not just going to talk about the handheld system of the Steam Deck we're going to talk about the potential capabilities of it being in dock mode before we go any further into this video I just want to put on record that Valve did state that the dock mode won't have any performance boost whatsoever and I think that it's a very very fair statement from them however I want to put out my opinion which I don't actually believe that, that is completely correct so I put in the system into dock mode by anything it will have negative side effects like lower FPS there's a YouTube channel called the Turk who simulates a steam deck and he ups the scale to 1080p and it shows that it does struggle to reach 1080p resolution which is very understandable because the system is meant for a small 800p 7 inch screen this youtuber also gives us some advice on how to change some of the settings using something called gamescope i advise you to look at their video if you do want to know more about that but this is my opinions on how i think a steam deck dock can boost performance now hear me out this is just a theory and please correct me if you think i'm wrong and let me know what your thoughts are on this matter after doing a bit of research i found out that you can actually add an external graphics card to a laptop this is a very very uncommon method because why would anybody want to do that to a laptop when they could buy a computer probably for a similar price but despite that being the point this can be done there is a little device called the gdc beast which allows you to add external gpus to the pci slot yes on a laptop in most cases that does mean removing the wi-fi card as that's most likely the only option for a pci slot some of them have more but you do have to have the back of the panel open at all times and yes it does look daft and at that point when does it become an actual computer my point being for the Steam Deck is the Steam Deck has an M.2 SD which will also use a PCI Express port. The PCI Express port is located at the bottom of the case and there's nothing else in the way blocking that. So in theory you could remove the M.2 drive, boot the OS off an SD card and have an external GPU powering the Steam Deck. And yes, yes, I know that's going to defeat the purpose of it being a handheld Steam Deck, but that is not the point. The point is there is potential room for this. If you look at the wiring of the GDC Beast, you'll easily see that this PCI connection is really small. So I don't see any theory on why you wouldn't be able to connect that to the M.2 port and cut a little hole in the bottom of the case. I'm not advising the general user just to do this out of a whim. It just gives me hope on what potentials this could possibly do. Let's think about it, you could have an enclosed system dock, okay? And you can have a graphics card in there. Let's say you've got a GTX 1060 in there with a couple of ventilation ports, and you can have that next to the front of your TV living room telly, and all you have to do is get your Steam Deck, boom, pop it in there, plug it in, there you go. You can then boot it externally with a GPU, giving it the massive performance boost that you will need to play games on your big screen TV. I'd be so curious to try this when the Steam Deck does come out. If you can just do it with the back panel off and it works perfectly, with the case completely open, then that will leave so much potential for somebody just to create a new back panel or failing that just to have an access port in this the current panel. There's so many mods out there in the modding community for retro consoles where the like let's put the Sega Game Gear for example. The amount of ports people can have coming out of that, it is ridiculous. Yes, the Steam Deck is a more modern console and it is a lot more compact than the Game Gear, but there is still a little bit of wiggle room for that. With so many people having 3D printers these days and so many modders in the modern community, this is going to be a massive potential. I am hoping, I'm really, really hoping that some third party companies manage to take this step on and find perfect GPUs which will be compatible. Granted, most of the problem with people who have an external GPU on laptops, the problem they tackle in the first place is usually loads of driver issues but a lot of the people do solve it sometimes it can't be solved but sometimes it can be solved so i think that all depends on the hardware that's actually in the steam deck and how that turns out to be compatible with drivers and certain graphics cards but i believe the potential in this is absolutely incredible i'd just love to see what people do the lower model of the steam deck doesn't actually have an m.2 card whether or not it has the connection for PCI ports, I do not know. 
I'm not too sure on that. I've not looked that one up. I just know I'm getting the 256 gig and that's the, that's the one I've been looking at. Granted, this beast connection does require an external power supply. However, if somebody integrates this power supply into this box with the GPU, you can have a, you can have a box with a GPU in there and a power supply. And all you have to do is hook your Steam Deck up to it and it's connected to your telly. That's my theory. That's the ideal world. What do you guys think? Let me know if you think I'm wrong on this matter. Let me know if you think I'm right on this matter. Have you heard any information on this before? This is my first kind of theory on it. I've not heard anything about it, but it's just a thought that kind of hit in my head last night and I couldn't sleep. I was thinking about it. I was like, this is incredible. This is something that can actually be done. For Valve to say the Steam Deck cannot have a performance boost with docked mode, I completely understand that because this sounds like something which will be an absolute ball ache for them to master. With all the modding community out there, I would just love to see what can actually come of this. If you have any opinions on this, let me know. Let's have a chat about it. Mark from Monotech, thank you for watching.